Welcome, ladies and gentlemen. Today, we're going to be learning how to take the derivative of a composite function. What is that? Well, that's why you're here, isn't it? All right, so taking the derivative of, of a composite function is great when you are taking the function of another function. So, for example, you can have f of x equal 2x squared and g of x equal 5x. And let's say you wanted to take the function of those. If you have the function of g of x is the same thing as f of g of x. And that can look a little weird. But let's, let's take this one step at a time. So f of x is 2x squared. Now if we want to have, if we want to take, if we want to plug in g of x into f of x, we have to plug in 5x wherever we have an x and f of x. So to rewrite this with the original equation, we would have 2 times 5x squared. And that's just plugging this 5x right where this x is because you want the function of g of x. Alright, and then from there, you can go on and distribute. So 5x squared would equal... 25 x squared, so 5 times 5 is 25, x times x is x squared, and then you would multiply that whole thing by 2. And when you do that, you get 50 x squared. All right, and then from that point on, you can take the derivative using the power rule, since you've simplified. So 2 times 50 would be 100, multiplied by x, and then if you subtract 1 from the original exponent, 2 minus 1 is 1, 100 x to the 1 is the same as 100 x, and that is how you find the derivative of a composite function. Well, that's how you take the derivative of a composite function. I hope you learned something today, and I hope that wasn't too hard for you to grab onto. I hope you check out some of the other videos on how to take the derivative of a function, and I will see you next time. Success!